Devader is a twin stick shooter where the goal is to protect the core. It's these pillars in the middle of the stage. Now you're protecting it from wave after wave of enemies as they try and knock it down. The problem is that the damage the core takes is persistent throughout the run. If the core falls, and then it's game over. This is interesting, and I like how the core shrinks and the pillars drop as it takes more damage. The best thing about Devader, though, the game showers you in upgrades. Never have I had so many different ways to destroy enemies at the same time. Devader is incredibly good about giving the player plenty of new toys to play with. There's never a dull moment. The game allows you to choose between two weapons each level. Both are similar, but need a different technique. For example, the first choice is between a nuclear missile and a pulse. Both clear an area of enemies. The missile can be fired to a remote location, but you have to lead the enemies. And the pulse shoots a shockwave around the player. It depends on your play style which one is best for you. I prefer the nuke. That might be because I use a mouse and keyboard. Devader can be played with a controller, but it limits how far your cursor can get away from the character. With that limitation, the nuke is far less powerful. You can't use it from across the map to defend an area. There will be better choices for which control scheme you choose. Anyway, the swarm of enemies provides the perfect cannon fodder for all your toys. Devader sure throws a lot of enemies at you. It feels like a constant stream. Also, I'm impressed with how much enemy variety there is. Besides the different kinds of spider bots, there are all kinds of weird enemies. Various worms, strange ball things, and sea urchins. There's even a hand snake. A hand snake! I don't know how they came up with a hand snake, but I love it. Real weird. This game never feels the same. Each wave of enemies is fun and unique. The bosses also have an excellent design. A side note about the style of Devader, it's amazing how they incorporate pure black into many of the stronger enemies. It makes them stand out. They're so easy to see when compared to all the other enemies. Your instincts kick in and you know they're more dangerous than the other enemies. Most games go the other way. They, they have the colorful characters against the dark background. So this makes Devader stick out even more. No one can argue the unique style this game has. The point of Devader is the score. There are online leaderboards for every category. The higher the difficulty, the more points. It's interesting how the game deducts points for using your attacks. Use more nukes than they expect you to and you'll get a deduction. While I'm having fun with Devader, there are a few issues. The biggest one is when Devader drenches the screen with effects. It can become way too intense to keep track of everything. There's so much, you can't even see if what you're shooting is even dead. It's a mess, with no option to turn it down in the settings, too. In fact, the only setting to lower the graphics also affects your score. Not ideal. Also, from what I can tell, it's not going to solve this problem. It only lowers the amount of enemies on the screen. Another problem is the sound effects. They're weak. Everything sounds distant. There's a war going on, but it's real far away. Now, I hate to call them out because I'm, I'm sure these sound effects are difficult, but you have to bring it up. It's so boring compared to the intense action of the game. Overall, Devader looks like a standard twin stick shooter, but isn't. The game is elevated by interesting enemies and a lot of weapons. Yes, I would like a nuke. Of course, I want turrets. Give me all the weapons. Devader is a good game and fans of twin stick shooters should consider it.